Thank you. I actually recently found out that uh, the RSPCA want all of us to get computer chips installed in our dogs. You hear that? It's true. Apparently the dog tag system isn't working. And it's going to cost $200. Now, I don't have $200 to install computer software in my dog. <laughs> but I do have a Nintendo 64, so I've just gaffer taped that to a head. <laughs> working very well so far. I think it's weird how some people have that really weird math system when it comes to dogs. You know, I was in the park one day and someone said, oh, how old's your dog? I said, oh, she's six. They went, ah, so she's 42. <laughs> no, she's six. Because apparently one human year equals seven dog years. You heard that? It's true. You probably noticed when your dog turned two, the way it suddenly just got really moody. <laughs> Stomp off to its kennel to listen to the cure for hours on end. <laughs> You know, by the time it's turned six, it's bought a sports car, it's dating puppies. <laughs> Actually, my dog's just turned ten and started telling me these pointless war anecdotes. It's just... <laughs> I, I also have a cat, you know. I think you have a very different relationship with your dog and cat. You know, I think the relationship you have with your dog, it's a really healthy, loving relationship. You know, there are those moments when you're patting it and you're looking into its eyes and it's like... I love you. And it's looking back, I love you too. It's a beautiful moment between two animals. It's very different with a cat. You know, you have the exact same moment. You're patting it, looking into its eyes. I love you. And it's looking back, I love you too. But I need to see other people. <laughs> it's not you, it's me, really. <laughs> you know, as the owner of a cat, you sort of go, oh, okay. But we, we can still live together, can't we? Oh, sure. I can't operate a can opener. That's I gotta say, though, my favorite animal of all time would have to be the T Rex. I love the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You know, he's got like his big T Rex legs and the big T Rex body and T Rex head and these tiny little arms. <laughs> I love them. And scientists have actually found out that the reason why the T Rex was such a vicious predator was because all the other dinosaurs used to pull the piss about the size of his arms. <laughs> They'd take him out behind the toilets at recess and just hold his head back. You know, the way the whole dinosaur era actually ended was because a comet worth the force of 11 billion atomic bombs actually smashed into planet Earth. And I saw in this documentary recently, they said, you know, unbeknownst to these magnificent creatures, a comet was on a path of destruction with planet Earth. And I was thinking, it's probably a good thing they didn't know, because I don't think a creature with a brain the size of a pea is going to deal with that information very well. <laughs> Ooh. 11 billion atomic bombs. Better cover your eyes. <laughs> T-Rex going, oh, good. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Have a good night. I'm Sarah Kendall.